right. So glad to have you here. And we're going to start today in a quick seated posture, just being aware of our breath for a moment. So sit in whatever way is comfortable for you. I'm sitting on a couple of blankets. You could sit on a, a block or on the floor. You can have your legs extended if you'd like to, but just be comfortable. We'll be here for like one or two minutes. All right. Good. So sitting nice and tall, let your eyes close or lower your gaze. And I'd like you to become aware of the movement of your breath in your body. Feeling the body expand as you inhale. And feeling the body contract as you exhale. Noticing where in the body you feel that movement. Maybe it's in the rib cage and chest. Maybe you feel it down into the belly. And keeping the breath slow and steady, I'm going to ask you to increase the capacity of your breath. So inhale slowly and fill the lungs to capacity. Nice big breath. And then exhale slowly through the nostrils. And taking the breath past the natural point where you'd stop and just push a little bit more breath out of the system. And then do that a few more times. Inhale, feel the body fill with breath. And exhale, feel the body empty of breath. Maybe three or four more times with that. Big breath in. And complete breath out. One more time. And then let your breath adjust after this exhale. And slowly the eyes open, coming back to the space. What you may notice just after even a few times of doing that bigger breathing practice that you start to feel a bit more awake. That's kind of the goal with that one. So we're going to move on to our backs now. So move any props you might be sitting on off to the side and come to lay down. And we're going to be prepping for bridge pose. So have your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor, your heels stacking directly underneath your knees with your arms down by your sides. And then we're going to start with some arm movements. We'll add the hips in just a moment. So with your next inhale, please lift your fingertips toward the ceiling and then all the way overhead, knuckles on the floor above you. Then exhale, reach back toward the ceiling and bring the arms down to your sides. Inhale, reaching the arms up and over. Exhale, reaching up and down. Now let's do this adding the big breath. Full big breath in, reach the arms up and over. Exhale, complete breath out. Full breath in. Complete breath out. We're gonna keep moving, let's add the hips. Inhale, lift the arms overhead, reach the pelvis toward the ceiling. Exhale, release the arms and hips back down. Inhale, arms and hips lift. Exhale, feel them lower. And if you've lost it, bring it back, uh, big breath. Big breath and lifting up. And complete breath down. Big breath in. Lifting the hips, lifting the arms. Complete breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Couple more times. Big breath and lift the hips, lift the arms. 
Exhale, release. And as we come into the pose this time, let's stay. Lift the arms, lift the hips, and continue to breathe big here. Full, complete breath in. Complete breath out, exhale. Keeping the hips raised. Now think about feeling a back bend in your upper back. So you wanna feel your sternum, your breastbone reach toward your, your chin, deepening that back bend in the upper back. And we'll stay for about three more big breaths. Keeping the feet flat on the floor, you're almost there. And with your next complete breath out, go ahead and release the arms and hips down to the floor. Take an adjusting breath here. Good, and then go ahead and bring your knees into your chest. You can hug them in for a moment. And then keeping the knees drawn into your chest, go ahead and take your arms out to the sides, making a T-shape with your body. And if there's stuff in the way here, you can also do cactus arms by bending the elbows. Good, now keeping the knees and the ankles locked together, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, drop your knees to the right side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, drop the knees to the left side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Please keep going. Try to keep the shoulders and arms grounded to the floor the entire time. And if you want to get the neck involved, you can turn the chin away from the knees. And you guessed it, we're going to bring back in this big breath. Full breath in, inhale, unwinding. Complete breath out as you twist to a side. Almost done. A couple more times. And then drop the knees to the right side this time, turn the chin to the left, and we'll stay for about two breaths. Big breath in, complete breath out. And then inhale, unwind. Exhale, take the knees to the left, again, staying for about two big breaths. And then inhale, unwind. Hug the knees in again. Good. So holding behind your knees or behind the thighs, you're gonna curl your chin in towards your throat, bring your forehead up toward the knees so that you're rounding the upper back. Now try to keep this engagement and rock back to your shoulders and rock forward, rock back, rock forward. And just keep going for a little bit. Careful not to go too far back on your neck. Really wanna stop at the top of the shoulders and then rocking up to a seat, back, to a seat, back. We're gonna go for about a full minute here with this one. This helps to circulate lymphatic fluid throughout your body, helping to boost your immune system. And it also engages the core, especially when you're trying to rock yourself on up. It's massaging the muscles along the back of the spine. And if you let it, 
and you have to let it. It can be fun. <laughs> it's kind of like what a kid does, you know, just intuitively moving on the floor, just rocking around, rolling around. About 20 more seconds. Good, and then go ahead and rock yourself up to a seat. And pause for a moment, just feeling sensation here. Noticing what's going on in your body. Good. And then take your time. We're going to transition onto hands and knees, table pose. So the hands are underneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips, just slightly further back. Inhale, look forward, feel the tail lift. Exhale, sink back into child's pose, seat to the heels, forehead to the ground. Inhale, lift back up to hands and knees. Please curl your toes under and lift the hips into the air, downward facing dog. Good, so it's the first down dog of class. So go ahead and walk the dog out a bit, pressing one heel to the floor as you bend the opposite knee. Feeling length in one leg, then feeling length in the other. And as you're breathing here, feeling the stretch in the backs of the legs, also feel some lengthening of your spine. So you can think about your hip bones reaching toward the ceiling behind you. Breathe. Good, inhale, float down onto hands and knees. Exhale, child's pose for a moment. Feel sensation. Good. Then inhale back up to hands and knees. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. With your next inhale, please come forward into plank pose, straight line push up position. Good. Now from here, you got a couple of options. What we'll try to do is bend the elbows in toward the waist and bring the chest to hover one inch off the floor. Now, if that's too much for you, the knees can be down here, all right? Now, after that, you're gonna press the arms straight, come onto the tops of the feet, knees lift, looking up, upward facing dog. And then from here with an exhale, you're gonna feel a tug behind your navel that pulls you back into downward facing dog. Yeah, don't worry, we'll do that a few more times. So inhale, coming into plank pose. You can also do knees down. Exhale, bend the elbows in toward the waist, bring the chest one inch from the floor, and then come onto the tops of the feet. Press the arms straight. Look up, upward facing dog. And then exhale, pull back into downward facing dog. Again, plank or knees down. Exhale, one inch from the floor with the chest. Come onto the tops of the feet, press the arms straight, knees lift, upward facing dog, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Two more times, plank pose. One inch from the floor. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Last one for now, plank. One inch from the floor. Upward facing to downward facing dog. Wonderful. From downward facing dog, walk your hands back to meet your feet coming into the standing forward fold. Knees can be bending slightly here. Good. With your next inhale, please press your palms into your shin, straighten the arms, bring the chest parallel to the ground, looking straight down. With your exhale, fold back down again. And then with a strong breath, inhale, lift all the way up, standing, reaching the arms overhead, and then release the arms down, exhale. <sighs> 
Good, we made it to standing. Feel free to hydrate if you need to. Always good to remind us ourselves of that. And then we're gonna go to the arm swings next. So this is the three part inhale through your nose and one powerful exhale out of your mouth. The navel pulls back strong here. So you can think about that big breath again. It's a full breath in, complete emptying of the body out with your exhale. Now the movement is this. The feet will be about hip width apart and they'll be inhale, arms up, inhale back, inhale up, and then exhale, jab the elbows back. And we're just gonna keep moving for about two minutes at a pace that you can maintain for the entire time, all right? So again, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> when you're ready, inhale up, inhale back, inhale up, exhale, jab, inhale, 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 exhale. <sighs> Try to feel the full movement of your shoulder joints. Up, back, up, and jab. And again, with that complete exhale, you wanna feel the navel pull into the body and up, helping to clear your respiratory system, getting rid of that stale toxic air that builds up in the base portion of your lungs, especially if you've been breathing in a more shallow breathing pattern. Just helps to clear all that out. Swing it out. We're going to go for about another minute. Find a pace that you can maintain again. And it's okay if you need to slow it down at a certain point. About 30 more seconds or so. Three, two, and one, release. Let your breath adjust, feel sensation. Some tingling in the arms and hands, cooling in the nostrils and throat. With your inhale, lift your arms up and overhead. Hold the breath in at the top of the inhale for three, two, one. Exhale through your mouth, release the arms on down. We'll do that again. Inhale, reach the arms up and over. Hold the breath in for three, two, one. Exhale. One more time, reach. Holding the breath in for three, two, and one. <sighs> Wonderful. So take your feet just a little bit wider than your shoulders. A good gauge for this, if you're standing forward on your yoga mat, is to have your feet mat with a part. And I'm standing this way, so a little bit wider than the shoulders for me. <laughs> And you're going to take your left arm up and overhead. And with your right hand, reach up and grab the wrist and pull the arm straight toward the ceiling. And breathe. And then after a breath or two here, lean the chest to the right. And the bending is really happening from the upper spine, not from the lower back. So it's not just jamming into the hip. It's really reaching out of the hip, the uh, rib cage starting to curve. 
and breathe. And then come back up, release the arms, feel the difference between the two sides. And then we'll balance out that sensation. So lift the right arm into the air now, reach up and grab the wrist and traction it upwards, reach. And again, after a couple of breaths, lean the chest to the left, length along the right side of the rib cage. Big breaths here. Good, then come back up and release. Keeping the feet where they're at, I'm gonna ask you to interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, lift the arms off the back as much as you can. Bend the knees just slightly and then hinge at the hips and fold forward. Taking the arms off the back as much as you can will stay for about three breaths. Good, then release the arms, scoop the heart forward and lift back up to standing. Release the hands. Great. So we're gonna move into a sun salutation next, working with a, a lunge. And revisiting a flow that we did earlier. So go ahead and step to the top of your mat if you're not there already. Have your feet stack underneath your hips now. And bring your palms together at your chest. Good. With your next inhale, sweep your arms down, back, and up. Hinge at the hips. Swan dive. Exhale. Fold forward and down. Press palms into your shins. Come halfway up. Inhale. Exhale, release down and take your right foot way back. Now bend deeply into the front knee, keep the back knee lifting. Your fingertips can stay on the ground if you'd like to. If you have the ability to balance, you can lift the arms up for a high lunge. And then with the exhale, the hands come back to the floor and we'll step back to downward facing dog. Inhale into plank pose. Exhale, bring your chest one inch from the floor. Again, knees can be down here if you'd like. And then come under the tops of the feet, straighten the arms, take the shoulders back, and then exhale, downward facing dog. In down dog, lift the right leg into the air behind you. With your exhale, swing or carry step the right foot between the hands, help it through if you need to. Back knee stays lifting here. Get light on the fingertips. You may want to lift the arms up for a breath in. And then exhale, bring the hands down if they're not already and step the left foot forward. Pressing palms to shins, come halfway up here, chest parallel to the floor again. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side, strong back, come all the way up to standing. And then palms to the chest. Let's do that again. Inhale, sweep the arms down, back and up. And exhale, swan dive, fold forward and down. Palms to shins, halfway up. Exhale, release down. Take the left foot way back. Bending deeply into the front knee, you may want to lift the arms or you can keep the hands on the floor. With your exhale, hands back down, downward facing dog. Plank pose or knees down. Exhale, bring the chest one inch from the floor. Come onto the tops of the feet. Press the arms straight, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lifting the left leg into the air. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, helping it forward. Bend deeply into the front knee, get light on the fingertips, maybe lift the arms, inhale. Exhale, hands down, step the right foot forward. Press palms to shins, come halfway up here. Exhale, fold. Sweep the arms out to the sides, come all the way up, inhale. And then exhale, hinge at the hips and fold forward. Palms to shins. Exhale down, right foot steps. Get light on the fingertips, maybe lift the arms, inhale. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Coming into plank or knees down. Exhale, chest one inch from the floor. Press the arms straight. Up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, help it through, step it forward. Coming into your lunge. Beautiful, hands down, step forward. Palms to shins halfway up. Exhale, fold. Sweeping the arms out to the sides, come all the way up. One more time through this flow. Exhale, fold down. Palms to shins. Exhale, release. Step the left foot way back, bending deeply into the front knee, coming into your lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Plank pose. One inch from the floor with the chest. Upward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts when you get here. Exhale, step the left foot on through, help it forward, bend deeply into the front knee and come into your lunge. Exhale, hands down, step forward. Palms to shins, halfway up. Exhale, fold down. Sweep the arms out to the sides, come all the way up. And then release the arms down, palms to the chest. You can release the hands if you'd like to and just feel sensation for a moment. And then from where you're at, at the top of your mat, just go ahead and fold forward again. And then carefully step back to downward facing dog. And then float gently down onto hands and knees, release the feet and exhale, sink into child's pose. And just be aware of your breath here for a moment. Noticing sensation in the body. Staying for just a couple more breaths. And then when you're ready, go ahead and walk your hands back, bringing yourself up to a seat. <sighs> Right. So that is our class for today. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope this serves you well and that uh, was a fun experience for you. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.